Okay, for today's vocabulary. Today we are talking about, um, it's, a, it's a debate uh, about if business should be uh, socially responsible. And if they're not socially responsible, does it mean that they're evil? Uh, if they still follow the rules, and, and there's a kind of debate about that. So, uh, if you go to page two, uh, number one is bandwidth. Uh, maybe the most common way that you hear about bandwidth nowadays is when you think about your internet data, right? Because it's, it's like you have an infrastructure or a system, and you're trying to download or upload as much as you can in a certain amount of time in that bandwidth. Right? So basically, bandwidth means you, you have a kind of uh, there's a limitation or, or a system that you have to work with, but you're trying to get as many resources or as much as possible out of it. Uh, so, uh, if you have a deadline for work, uh, for, for a project, and uh, you have to finish something, you're trying to do as much as you can within the bandwidth of that time, like within that, 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 that time frame, the structure of that time. Uh, or the limitation at the time. You're trying to get as much done as possible. Uh, bandwidth can also be like um, if you want to increase your resources uh, with you know, more funding or, or bigger um, highway or, or something, uh, then you can also use bandwidth in that way as well. Number two, externality. Uh, has anybody studied economics? It's a great word in economics. It's basically a, a kind of unintended consequence or result uh, from maybe a business or a market or um, a trend. And it does not affect that direct product or, or, or the price or, or that market. But it might affect something else completely that was just not really, um, you know, not, not really seen. So, for example, mm, Facebook. Facebook has been accused of, of uh, letting a lot of countries try to manipulate you know, politics. Facebook, when it first started up, was supposed to be a network to connect people, collect some data, you know, have a lot of data for, for marketing companies and stuff. And, um, and it seemed like a great idea. But now it has this new externality that it can be manipulated to manipulate politics, right? So it's uh, it doesn't affect the data that they have on people for for marketing or anything like that. If you if you want to use Facebook for um, for ads, it's just still precise. But there's the strong possibility that people can try to use Facebook to manipulate political views or or political bias. So that's an externality. Like it, it could affect your country's outcome. So an externality can be like a, a social externality or in society. It can be something that's related to pollution or environment. It can be something that's related to um, even to um, inequality. So that's, uh, yeah, it just basically outwardly affects other things. Number three, rollback. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Number three, rollback, um, is basically when you're just returning to a previous point. Or, so let's say a company says, okay, everything's getting more expensive. We have to raise our prices this year. So they raise their prices on all of their products. And then they lose a lot of sales, a lot of loyalty. So what they do is they go, okay, we're, we're just going to raise the price on some products, but we're going to roll back the prices on other products. So you'll see the prices return to the previous price point. Number four, cut corners. Cut corners is, is probably one of my favorite things uh, to talk about uh, and is used quite often. It's, it's basically when you try to skip certain steps or important steps in a process to get done faster, uh, it's, it's almost like cheating. You, know, you just kind of skip certain steps so that you can get ahead, so that you can... Uh, basically beat somebody, you know, be more competitive. Uh, but when you cut corners, that can actually make things worse for you. It can hurt you. So, for example, um, when I was in the oil field, for, for everything that we did, we had to have documentation because there was regulation on it. 
And if we if we decided to skip that, and then there's like a you know a disaster, or a big accident or something, we could be in a lot of trouble. So we had to make sure that everyone, not just myself, but everyone, was not cutting corners. We 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 made sure that uh, you know it, it was something that was so important that uh, if if one person looked like they were cutting corners, we had to make sure that it you know did they do it on purpose or did they forget you know. And then we would all lecture each other. You want to make sure that you don't cut any corners here, because if you do, you can get in a lot of trouble. So, you know, something really bad could happen. So uh, that's, uh, yeah. Anyways, cutting corners is, is really useful in the workplace. You know, if you have a lot of processes that are important and you, you want to tell people not to cut corners, not to take any shortcuts that are unnecessary. Uh, and that's our vocabulary for today. <laughs>